Richard Ebright grew up in north of Readings, Pennsylvania. He collected butterflies, rocks, fossils. His mother encouraged him, took him on trips, and bought equipments. When he was in his second grade, he had collected 25 species of butterflies. His mother got him a book, The Travels of Monarch Ten Feet. At the end of the book, readers were invited to tag butterflies for research by Dr. Frederick Urquhart. Ibright did. Then he raised butterflies and tagged them. He participated in many science fairs in the years of his study. 7, 8, 9 grade, second year high school, junior year high school, senior year high school, junior year Harvard University. In the seventh grade, he showed frog tissues. He lost. In eighth grade, he tried to find the cause of a viral disease that killed monarch caterpillars. He won. In ninth grade, he tested the theory that viceroy butterflies copy monarchs. This project was placed first in zoology. In second year, he researched on the tiny spots on monarch pupa. He and his friend found that the spots produced hormones. They won. In junior year, he continued his advanced experiments on the pupa. He won and got a chance to work in Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. In senior year, he grew cells from a monarch's wing and showed the hormone from gold spots were necessary for its development. He won first in zoology. During junior year in Harvard University, he got the idea for his new theory about cell life. He answered, how the cell reads blueprint of its DNA. He and his roommate James explained the theory in an article in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Mr. Weiher, his SST teacher, told that Richard won because he wanted to do the best. Start with a first-rate mind. Mix in the will to win for right reasons. Subscribe for more videos.